So like I mentioned before, the put and the patch, they're both used to update. And there's just one difference between the put and the patch. In our user service, we will create another function. We can call it update user. And then we're going to call the patch on the HTTP. And then we pass in the payload to that URL. So it's exactly the same way as you would do a put. But the only difference is we don't have to send the entire uh, data. So here you can see our data can look like this. We can send the user ID and then we're just changing the name. We don't have to send all of the rest of the data. And because you're doing a patching, what the system is going to do, it's going to go ahead and just replace the properties that you send on that specific data. So here we're just assuming that we're sending the ID so that we can identify that specific resource on the server. And then we just say, hey, update that name and then what the server is going to do is just update the name and then leave everything as they were. And that's the main difference between the put and a patch. The put, you have to send the entire data and whatever you don't send, they will be default to the default value. And with the patch, you don't have to send the entire data. You just send whatever you need to update and the system will leave everything else as they were and update only the properties that you want to update on that specific resource. So let's go ahead to the code and let's give this a try.